not safe, not safe feeling anymore. Um, you feel like someone is watching your house, like someone is watching you from somewhere. Pinellas Park parents are sharing details about a very terrifying child kidnapping scheme. Good evening, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. The Pinellas Park parents say they almost fell for it when they heard their daughter's voice on the phone. But moments before transferring thousands of dollars, they realized it wasn't actually her. Pinellas Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us live from the police department with the details. And it's startling. <laughs> It really is. The couple reported the incident to Pinellas Park Police. Now, in an effort to help others, they're sharing their story with Eight on Your Side. We hear the screams of our daughter uh, asking for help. And oh, my heart almost stopped, but then I had to act quick. Jane and Joe say their nightmare became a reality. In an effort to conceal their identities, Eight on Your Side changed their voices and are referring to them by alias names. They say at 2 p.m. Wednesday, they thought their daughter was at Morgan Fitzgerald Middle School in her eighth grade class until they got a call saying she was taken, telling the parents to send money or else. If you call police, uh, uh, he said, I'm going to rape your daughter and I'm going to kill her and you're going to be attending for a funeral. Then they heard their daughter's voice. She said, oh, mom, please come. Uh, he's going to hurt me if you don't. Panic setting in. Well, your pulse is probably over 200. Your blood is rushing to your head and you're not quite thinking straight. The couple has two older sons. The 14 year old girl is their baby rushing to the bank to transfer $2,000 to save her. The whole time Jane worried about her daughter's well-being and her husband's. He may be sick and he may get a heart attack. He may get a stroke at that moment and you never know. Moments before sending the money, Jane called police from a different phone. A school resource officer determined their daughter was in class and was safe. I never called her, and I think that was my biggest mistake. So if parents listen to me, <laughs> always call, call your child. They think her voice was stolen from a social media account or the internet. Hopefully she learned not to record her voice, if she did, ever did. Um, me as um, not to answer unknown calls. Now, Pinellas Park Police weren't available to speak with us today. The parents hope the police track down the man on the other end of the phone so no one else has to experience this. They tell us the entire ordeal lasted about 20 minutes. Reporting live in Pinellas Park, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.